Okay, so I didn't make any slides, but uh, I'll uh, tell you briefly about uh, what uh, took place at the committee. Uh, and uh, also, uh, I'll start with what was done uh, during the year. Uh, VLO, as you have seen, uh, now has availability tags for the resources, for the resources that actually have some licensing information. So it, it was Penny and me who rolled up our sleeves and went through uh, a couple of hundred of license statements and uh, made the classification so now that it's there. However, uh, that is just the tip of the iceberg, and uh, one of the things that should be done is that all the other resources uh, should also be classified. I mean, this covers roughly 1,000 resources or so, but the, the, I mean, there are m close to a million in there. So, uh, And uh, what's more is that uh, most of these resources are uh, would have some very restricted license to them. I mean, the, the common wisdom is that a couple of percent is actually openly available. Uh, but anyhow, uh, for new resources, it is important that we state that Clarin uh, is supporting open accessibility. And uh, we think that such a statement should be added to uh, our web pages. And in addition to that, uh, there is a legal information platform package being prepared, and uh, that will soon then be announced uh, and, and added to the web pages. It will give basic information about what's uh, the status of copyright law uh, in the European uh, Union and also some personal data uh, information will be in there, and that's uh, also something that is up and coming. Uh, and that's related to uh, the very uh, big task that uh, lies ahead of the Clarin uh, Legal Issues Committee. Uh, we should actually have a strong lobbying for uh, open access and make sure that uh, the copyright exception that is about to take shape uh, is actually in favor of research institutions and research access. So uh, uh, that is uh, where uh, the focus of the work will be uh, in the next future. Thank you.